Oh, NOPD just confirmed that they do have a victim and that he shot to the chest. Hope the dude's living. We in and out, in and out, real quick. Is that the dude standing on the scene toward the 356? Dude, he's smiling and laughing. Well, that's good. Uh, what you cover, pal, pal? How you feeling so, right now? You gonna help me? Yeah, I'm <laughs> definitely gonna help you, my <laughs> man. Hey, stick this on through. Let me see, got it out. All right, we don't have an exit wound. All right, man, we're going to sit you down, all right? Right here, bro. Right here. Where you going? Al. Al. All right, Al. Slide all the, way all the way back. When somebody's been shot, like the guy we had earlier tonight, I expect to pull up and see a guy laying on the street and having difficulty breathing and hemorrhaging and all these different things. I love this city, oh, and I would do right. anything I have to do for it. Guy shot in the chest. He was just on a high. I don't know if it's a natural high. You know, he was just great. He was feeling New Orleans, man. He just loved to be in New Orleans. Look, man, how about this? You guys just do y'all thing. All right, you know, dude, you got a great you. attitude. I love man, this guy is just like, I don't know, man. It seemed like he was at a parade or something. He was standing waiting for some bees to be thrown to him. I, I am thinking for well, a lot of I things. Want you, hold on a second. Take this, nice deep breaths. In and out. And just so you know. I, hold on one second. In and out. In and out. What happened? Tell me what happened, dude. How did you get shot? From an altercation. Oh, from an altercation? Yeah. All right. What we're doing is we're just starting IVs on you in case for some reason your blood pressure drops and things like that, okay? Right. right. Thank you. Right now, this is all just, just in case, okay? Thank you. Oh, we're happy to help you, my friend. Dude. That cat was the happiest cat I know that's ever been shot. I always pride that we make our patients laugh. This cat was already laughing before he got in the truck. Joking, laughing, funny. having a good time. Breathing and laughing. Ah! He actually made my job easier. And like, you know what? I'll pick him up anytime. Shot in the chest or hemorrhoids. It don't even matter. <laughs> 4341. 4341. You have a 30 year old male. Nose is hanging off his face. Assaulted. 5241. I'm in route. 3251. I'm in route. 30 year old male, conscious breathing, was physically assaulted. Complainant states that his nose is hanging off of his face. Ooh. Says he doesn't know what happened. How hard does somebody have to hit you? And with what kind of an object do they have to hit you with to make your nose hang off your face? What? 6249 on the scene. I went by the stove. Hey, my man. Hold on, man. Let's get you in the truck, OK? Oh, yep. You can call, uh, we'll activate it, I guess. Come on, man. I mean, it looks what like a, Do we know what it's from? It said it's like from a stick, but it looks like a clean cut. It I'm only a clean cut. Here. I mean, my well, time I would call is like a clean, you know, oh. but that is, it's a, a look at. All right, have a seat here, my dude. So what's that from, my man? It's from a stick. Somebody crabbed me across the stick at the city right there. Yeah, let's activate it. Can we get your arms out of here, my man? All right, all right. You can call me Jordan. Yeah. All right, Jordan. Jordan? Fred. All you, right, Mr. Jordan. Mr. Jordan, Jordan can you lean up a little bit so I can take this I off? Perfect. Pull it up some more. We're going to activate. Go it always heightens the stress level whenever you get on scene and somebody meets trauma criteria. Because, all right, now I got 10 minutes. Now I got to start thinking about, OK, we have to give vital signs, hopefully get an IV, and get him to the trauma center. All right. Did you get knocked out or anything? No, I, I just kept on walking. I, I just shot by the whole, the whole hill, man. All right, so put your arm down. Jordan. Yes, ma'am. You a gangster. You just kept on walking. I can tell you the Somebody <laughs> stopped you or you stopped the police? I ain't stopped nobody. So who stopped you, the police? I don't even know how, how y'all showed up. Somebody, somebody called and called. said they got a Somebody man. called, y'all showed up. Yeah. You need no some stitches, man. It's all right, baby. <laughs> he said it's all right. I ain't worried about it. All right. All right. Free lady, I'll get on. You know, somebody has this grossly deformed injury to the face, and they're just like, oh, no, I'm, I'm just going to home and go to sleep. <laughs> sir, no, sir, you're not. <laughs> We're going to take you to the hospital. I'm going to kind of push it up, all right? Do what you got to do. Let me see some tape. We're going to get you taken care of. Do you want to get in for probably about a minute or two, and then it stops. That's why I ain't really go to try to go to the hospital call y'all, because it stopped bleeding. 
If you would have rubbed your nose the wrong way, you, you would have lost just that whole thing off. Okay. Uh, uh, like if you would have fell asleep and just boop, that yeah, would have been over. Right. You, you would have had a half a nose. All right. All right. We're gonna put this little piece of tape and then we out of yeah, here. All right. Go ahead. All right. You can right, relax that on my man. We're gonna take him. He's going to university. Okay. I'm shook. I'm trying to get you across for Shuck. His f nose is hanging off. For real. We have a single gunshot wound to the upper left. Oh, come on, come on, come on, let's go. It's a male shot at Broad and Cleveland Street. Once we exposed the wound, it started bleeding like crazy. He had a very serious injury that, that could be a mortal wound if the bleeding wasn't stopped. But we need to, we need to go. We got to get him up. Hey, we gotta, hey come on, we got to get up. You got to stand up. Stand up on your good leg. You ready? One, two, One, two three. Two. There we go. Look, right over there, sit in that crease. Sit down, legs up. Yeah, he's got a lot going on. You're going to feel a big stick in your arm, OK? Don't move. And this One, was two, one two, over seven in? Do you have any medical conditions? She's going to get IV. I'm just going to give you a little oxygen. Take a nice deep breath, oh, man. You're doing good. That's good. We're good. 30-20 shows. Dan, you need anything? No, good? I'm good. Thank you. Right. With trauma patients, we want to spend as little time as possible on the scene and more time in the truck going to the hospital and doing our treatments en route. Hey, it's Dan with New Orleans Unit 3220. En route to you with a 25-year-old male. Chief complained of a single gunshot wound to his left side of his groin. I don't see an exit wound at this time. That's his only wound. As a man, that injury, he come close. He come close to it being a lot worse than it was. Approximately two to 250 cc blood loss on the scene. Right now, it seems to be controlled. So look, what's about to happen is we're taking you to University Hospital. That's the trauma center. There's gonna be a lot of doctors asking you a whole bunch of questions really fast, and you're gonna feel a finger up your butt. I know, but they gotta check for bleeding inside. What you told me at the hospital? Yes. Yep. Thank you, Paige. Thank you, Paige. Man, this guy just got uh, shot over a pack of smokes. Uh, you know, it's just not right. Um, it just reminds me to be grateful. You know, every day you, you tell yourself you just got to be grateful because you never know when your time is coming. Well, how many dudes walked up to me and asked me for a cigarette? Yeah. But I would never think that somebody would try to shoot me, like set me up, you know? Yeah. My it... thing was, he was kind of, uh, I guess chipper is the, not the word I'm looking for, but he was upbeat for a man walking around with a hole next to his junk. You know what I mean? So hey, I don't want to get shot in that area. to take his manhood with that one. 32, 32, talk one. 38-year-old male struck in the head with a hammer. Too late. So, Nick. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Guess what? What? We got a call. OK. You ready? Mm-hmm. Let's do this. I never clapped that much. I, it was an over-exaggerated holiday, but it was still good. <laughs> Maybe we should do Dan and Titus. That would be interesting. <laughs> it would be. Do Dan, and I'm going to do Titus. All right. Well, you know, I got to have my gel, and I got to have my gum. And your breath still stinks. Red shirt and khaki pants. You're the one over there eating the chicken wings, though. You calling me fat? See how skinny I am right now? My abs are showing through this shirt. Like, literally. My hair is gelled. My abs are showing. I'm ready. The ladies love me. I'm ready. They love me. They know me out here. 32, 32, we all see. Come on, let's go. We get a call for a male that has been hit in the head with a hammer. There's a few cops outside, but it doesn't look like anybody's kind of running around. So I figure our patient's probably pretty stable. How are you? What's up? What happened here? The bitch hit me with a hammer. All right. But we walk in, and there's blood everywhere. Oh, I'm bleeding. All right. Oh, yeah, you got a vessel. Have a seat right here. This guy's got blood all over himself, all over his face. I mean, he's bleeding into his eyes. You got hit once? Did you get knocked out? No. She hit me with a hammer right now. You got a tough head, man. We need to get him into the unit where there's much more light. Good to go. So that we can get this bleeding control. Yeah, I think this hit me really good. Yeah, she did. You got it right on the vessel, so we're going to take care of it for you. Don't move. Open your eye. There's a lot of vessels that run through your head, so it's not going to stop on its own. You're going to have to actually have some sort of stitch or staple in your head to stop the bleeding. I am going to put a little needle in your arm, though, OK? You got to give me a little UV. A little IV. Yeah. <laughs> you got to keep your head still for a second, all right? What happened? That girl, dude, you gotta, uh, she's freaked out on me. That's your boo? Not like a boo-boo. Right. 
Yeah, that's arterial like a mother. This is down looking good, huh? Crazy. Any kind of uncontrolled bleeding is not a good thing. When you look at the wound, you can actually see with his pulse that the blood's actually squirting out of his head. Going down my you got your right in a little artery in your forehead. Of course, the combat gauze. Okay. Let's do it. We have something called combat gauze. It has chemicals in it that's supposed to constrict the blood vessels as much as possible, and you want to put a pressure wrap on it to stop the bleeding. You got a lot of hair, bro. You do. I, got I like your hair. If you ever met me, I move people. You're a people mover? No, I move like furniture. Oh. Outer or move a uh, refrigerator, <laughs> and I'd have wrapped it up just like this. <laughs> wrapped it around like a refrigerator. A 3232. Uh, show us some routes to university, please. This guy is so lively and happy. It's insane. The happiest person I've ever seen after getting hit in the head with a hammer. They got to sew that blood vessel up, that's all. That vessel that's bleeding out. Yeah. They got to put a stitch yeah. on that. <laughs> Let's see your arm. <laughs> what up, girl? What up? What's up? You so happy. You're like the happiest little trauma patient ever. <laughs> I can't imagine why somebody would hit that dude in the head. An 18-year-old male restoration. Yeah, it's kept by a piece of wire. Leisure mirror. We got us a little call, boo. Yeah, yeah. We were looking for a male that has a laceration to his head oh, no. that he somehow obtained from a wire. I'm calling. Dude was rocking out on his guitar. <laughs> and boom, string pop. That's what I'm going with. I want you to think about guitars injuring people. Uh -uh. I was playing my guitar. No, no. And I was going really far. No, no. All of a sudden, the string broke. No, no. And it poked. Me in the head. In the nose. You should have said, punch <laughs> me in the nose. In the nose. You almost had it. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming. No problem. How you feel? So, How you all right? You, you, you want to go to the hospital? Real G, you feel me? Yeah. I feel you. You want to go to the hospital? We can do whatever you think. You're the expert. It's up to how you feel, man. How you feel? How about we take your vital signs, clean you up, and check everything out in the truck? How's that sound? That sound good? All right. What actually happened was that this kid was clotheslined by a wire that was part of a setup for a graduation. Hop back here. At first glance, it appears to be very minor. We still want to take him in the truck, check him out, assess him further, just to make sure we're not missing anything. I'm not going to look at myself, because that would be a rookie mistake. All you need is some Neosporin. It's not even bad at all. Let me see this. I got a knot on left. Just a little bit, a little one. This is what my mommy used to make me go in the house for. <laughs> street lights for. That's right. Boy, you got to come in the house. You can hit chords. <laughs> You want a Band-Aid on your nose? No, I'm a G. All right. <laughs> but if you think... I mean, I can put one on there if you just want to, you know, nah. enhance the story. Right. Maybe I can get one of my girls to rub my head. That's all I'm saying. You send it when you How many girls you got? None. Then why would you say that? <laughs> what you do is you use this to get the girl. But you right. got to have a better story than that. You need to say something like, man, I was, you know, rocking out on my drum set, and then the next thing you know, uh, Falcon came out of nowhere and just, you know, hit me in the face. Calls like this, where you can laugh with your patient, it's refreshing. It kind of, you know, balances out those times when you can't even speak to your patient because you're too busy, you know, trying to keep them alive. We're gonna help you out. I'm straight. Mm -hmm. I'm straight. Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Grand <sighs> the knob. Grand the knob. You know, they're not dead. I can work with that.